everyone, so today is Saturday. I start third year on Monday, the 14th of January. So I'm preparing today by sewing on my third and final stripe onto my uniform. I don't know if every university does this, but at our university we get a stripe for every single year. So if I show you my uniform so far, we have two stripes. Red one is for first year. I'm assuming red means danger. <laughs> That's why they chose red. Blue for second year, blue for third year. So let's get sewing. And that is it. All my third stripes sewn on and ready to get third year started. I'm, I'm so excited for this. So, also something I did, I kept one uniform completely free, clean, fresh, crisp and white, ready for third year. It's still got my very first stripe on it. I'm just gonna actually need some more stripes for it because I forgot that I hadn't sewn second years onto this. So I just need to pick up one more stripe and then I can finish that one off. But my main uniforms, my main uniforms are ready. This was actually my friend Tony. His idea was to keep one uniform back so that for third year, we'd have a really nice fresh white uniform to go into third year with. A few third years that I've seen, the uniforms are quite worn because this is your uniform for three years and you do, you're doing a lot of physical work. So it does get worn, it does get, I mean, look at this, my logos sort of coming off that one. It's not as white as it used to be. So yeah, I'm really glad that I've saved one uniform. So there's gonna be that one day a week where I'm shiny and new. People are gonna be like, wow, how do you keep your uniform so white? And so today was our first day back at university. And you know what I realized this morning that today's actually our last first day ever of starting a new year at uni. So I don't know if I'm like really upset or really excited because it's coming to an end. I have no idea. I'm really confused right now. But it was an amazing day back. A little bit like whoosh, straight into it. There was no, you know, nicey-nicey. It was like, this is what we're doing. This is what you've got coming at you. Let's go. But do you know what? It was fantastic. It was really, really nice to be back in that building, seeing my friends again, seeing everybody. I was just, it was lovely. So we have got something called ACPI. This is our dissertation, which isn't called dissertation anymore, it's called ACPI. And basically it's a 4,000 word literature, literature, oh my God, I can't even speak, literature <laughs> review, I can't say it. Sorry, like my voice, I'm not blaming this on my voice, but I've got a stinking cold and my voice is very, <sighs> Welcome to third year, Claire. So, but yes, we have a lit review. There you go. <laughs> 4,000 word lit review. We have to basically find 10 research articles and critically appraise all of them, join them all up into one review to answer a question which we are going to make up ourselves. Basically, did that make sense? I don't know. And during December they gave us some work as I think I showed you this in a previous vlog. So I have been sitting and doing some of the preparation for this and I do already have my question. But it does need tweaking. I keep looking at it and thinking this needs tweaking because it's a little bit too, mm, I don't know. I'm hoping my question is going to be okay. They're going to email us the name of our ACP supervisor who's going to do a one-to-one -one with us with me, with, with each of us. So I can take the question to that person and hopefully it's gonna be a really good one and they're gonna be like, yes, this is an amazing idea. Got the feeling that there's gonna be problems. I don't know why. I think just because I found it so easy to think of my question, um, I'm just worried now that I'm thinking, am I being too ambitious? Am I gonna find the articles? I don't know because I have had a quick search and I found three so far. But what I'm doing my topic on is going to be about prep for the prevention of HIV in gay men. And there's trials that have gone on around the world, but in the UK we're a little bit behind. So they're currently doing the trial, which finishes in February, I think. And when they release the details of that trial, I'm not sure. It's far better to get UK research articles to do your assignments and do all of these literature reviews on. So I think the majority of my articles are gonna be 
country based. There's going to be France, there's going to be Australia, there's going to be America. But there's all these different countries that they're from and there's not many done in the UK. So I'm just a little bit worried that that's going to be an issue. But tomorrow is my day off and I fully plan on searching this more and finding more articles and fingers crossed I'm going to be okay. So, apart from ACP, we have got a poster presentation to do on our own and we have another maths exam. We have got a, another assignment, I think that's 3,000 words and it's on policy and politics, which I'm not 100% psyched about because I find, I know for nursing we have to be really political. In politics, there's quite a lot of politics in nursing if you don't know that yet really sorry to break that to you. I'm not a fan of politics. I find politics and policies a little bit boring, but I know we need it as nurses and I am interested in researching and reading articles and things like that. So I'm not 100% enthusiastic about the policy and politics one, but it has to be done and I'm going to give it all my oomph because I want a great grade. So what else do we have? So we've got ACP, we've got our policy 3000 word assessment, we have got maths exam, we've got our poster presentation and we've got two placements coming up. I think that's everything. I don't think I've missed anything out, have I? No, I think that's it. So it is going to be a really busy year by the looks of it, but as long as I get started on the ACP now and sort of set myself deadlines and chip away to it bit by bit, because it's not due until October, as long as I start it now, get myself organised, I think this year's going to be okay. Fingers crossed. And also, we got a free travel mug. I know, a free travel mug. We got free cake and we got free tea or coffee of choice. I know. It's always nice to get freebies on your first day back. I love it. What a way to keep us all motivated and interested in our nursing studies is giving us freebies. <laughs> I loved it, I was so chuffed from the free cup. So today was our second day back at university. You have to excuse my throat, I am very sick still. Yesterday was my day off and I literally spent the whole day in bed. I physically couldn't speak to vlog or anything, but luckily today, Believe it or not, I feel better than I did yesterday. Yesterday was just a complete write-off. But today I do feel better. Um, my throat is still a little bit meh. My head's still a little bit meh. Everything's still a little bit meh. But I made it to uni and it was our second day, which was the nursing practice four exam launch. So we've got four case studies. Each case study is based around a condition, just like the previous exams that we've had. The first one is based around liver failure. The second patient is COPD and sepsis. And the third one is on cardiac and kidney failure. And the fourth one is gonna be on neurological injury and anaphylaxis. So this module, it. It, I want to say it sounds really good because it's case studies and you're piecing all the physiology together again but today I'm not gonna lie has scared me a little bit I just it's we're gonna need to know the most in-depth physiology we have ever needed to know for an exam like before we need to know in-depth physiology but it didn't seem too bad I was like yeah okay I've got this I know this I understand this this is basic stuff it's great but now it's just gone up a level level is up here somewhere um so it's level six physiology basically we have to know the ins and outs of everything so they want they expect us to know the phys physiological reason to why patients are having symptoms okay so this person's got liver failure why are they jaundice what is making that jaundice what's the physiological changes in the body that's causing the yellowness to the skin but also looking at the medications and okay associating medications with side effects and the observations so for example if you're doing a set of observations on a patient and their heart rate is really really high but they're also on a medication for their heart so a beta blocker which is supposed to reduce it but it's still high so that is masking more symptoms than it should if that makes sense i hope that makes sense so the patient's put on a beta blocker to reduce that heart rate 
but in this case study, the patient's heart rate is still high. It's going up to 95, 100, but they're on a beta blocker. So if they weren't on that beta blocker, what heart rate would they have? Because it's gonna go off the roof if they weren't on that beta blocker, which means something serious is happening inside the body. What is it? What's happening inside the body? <sighs> It just feels like it's like, oh my God, it's so much to learn. And I'm hoping, because this is just a launch and we always feel like this at a launch of, a, of any module that we've had, we're all just like, oh my God, we've got no idea what we're doing. But then as you go along, everything fits into place, everything makes sense. And I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen this time. But right now I'm feeling like, wow, this is a lot of work. I'm gonna need to revise solid for this one. So yeah, so overall this module so far at the launch seems hard, difficult, a lot of work. I'm probably gonna be stressed about it. I'm probably gonna have a little cry at some point. <laughs> but fingers crossed, it's not as bad as I think. I've got one more day tomorrow. I think we're in nine till five tomorrow. Like an all day one again and hopefully it's gonna be a good day. So yeah, so that's it for now. I shall see you all tomorrow for a new day of learning. Hopefully not gonna to be too scary and hopefully things are gonna make sense. So I am back from our final day at university. I still feel like rubbish, but not as bad as I have been. It, I feel like it's getting better, but I'm sounding worse maybe as the day goes on, I don't know. But I've got my dressing gown, I've got my PJs on, I'm in bed. I've just ordered Domino's pizza and I plan to eat it all to myself. <laughs> it's allowed, right? Yeah, why not? Um, it's a sick day, it's fine. <laughs> so today at uni was actually a really useful day on database searching and critical analysis, analysis, analyzing things. And it's too much to go into for this vlog, I think. So I'm gonna do a complete separate vlog and add it into there because it's gonna be so useful Sorry, my video got interrupted because my dominoes arrived, look! Yes, I've got pizza, I've got chicken wings. I'm so excited. This is very naughty. Don't advise this to patients out there to eat a whole pizza and chicken wings to yourself. But we'll see how I get on. So yeah, so I had a really good day at uni. It was all about critical analysis and assignment writing, going from that level five to that level six in third year and how to do that. And the guy that taught us at our university, his name's Philip D. Big shout out to Philip D because he is the best. He is one of the best. He has explained things amazingly. I'm gonna post a link to his YouTube channel because he's got his own YouTube channel. And just go and look at his YouTube channel because he's got amazing videos and you're gonna find them so helpful for your assignments and things. Um, but he explains things so well. He's really, really great and it was just fantastic, the things that he was saying in class, and I wanna try and help sort of spread that message and get that across to help with the students because it's really nice because we're all in this together, we're not in competition, and it's nice to help each other out. And those of you that struggle with critical analysis might find it really, really useful, so I'm definitely gonna do that vlog within the next week, 100%. I'm off Sunday, actually, well, well, today will be Sunday when you watch this. I'm off today, so hopefully today I'm making that vlog for you. Leave a comment and just remind me. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that completely different vlog. Um, we also had a maths lecture, so what's expected of us for our next maths exam. And to be honest, I think it's gonna be all right. We did a lot of practice questions in class and it's not as bad. I'm assuming by the looks of the questions, it's gonna be a mixture of first year and second year drugs calculations there's going to be a combinations of fractions as well as drug calculations and decimal po points and percentages and converting them and things like that so it doesn't look too bad it looks like just what we've been doing there's nothing that i'm thinking oh i'm going to really struggle with that so i'm actually i'm not too fussed about maths now which is good oh yeah and we had at the end of the day we had a, another acp lecture and just going over actually how to critically critically appraise research and how to find research and things like that and then the librarian come and showed us some amazing tips i learned something new today that i didn't know before and i just saw it and i was like what this i need to try i haven't tried it yet so i might do a whole vlog on database searching and that's it I'm off now, I'm working tomorrow, so tomorrow's Friday, I'm working tomorrow, I'm working Saturday, and then I'm off Sunday, so Sunday I will plan some vlogs, I promise, and 
actually set it as a goal. I'm going to set that as my own personal goal for Sunday. Do a vlog as well as relax, but do a vlog in the morning. But that's it, that's all I've got planned. I'm actually off Sunday, Monday, so I've actually got two days to plan these vlogs, so I have no excuse. So I will do these vlogs those days, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm back at uni next week, so I'll do some vlogs, and hopefully I'm surviving it. I'm hoping by next week as well, we have our um, ACP supervisor go to them and show them my question, and fingers crossed my question's okay, and it doesn't need too much faffing around with i'm hoping i've got it right that's it that's all i can say i'm gonna eat my pizza before it goes cold i hope you all have an amazing sunday amazing weekend and i'll see you in my next vlog mm -hmm.